All right, so um, let's set up some continuous controller foot pedals so we can do some wands and volume and stuff. In order to do this, we've got to connect them. So right now you see I've got a couple M Audio pedals right here, a pair of them, and they are plugged into the back into pedal one and pedal two on the surface. There you go. That means I now can assign them to do certain tasks. So once again, if we go back to our manual and we look and see what the volume pedal setting is, you can see that the volume is uh, 7, I believe. So uh, if I want to set this guy up to be controller 7, that's going to be my volume pedal, right? So once again, I'll go into setup mode. Hopefully I don't have a bald spot at the moment that's really flashing really hard when I do that. But. <laughs> so if I go to uh, pedals, there we go, so you hit the pedal button. Now it goes into pedal mode and you have two pedals, pedal 1 and pedal 2. And you can say, all right, pedal 1 is on, pedal 2 is on. All that really means is the Ground Control Pro will now listen to continuous control data on that port. That's all it means. But we still have to go to the preset, to the actual patch, and decide what that value is. So let's X that here. And let's go to our patches. So I'm going to pop up to my AC30 patch. There we go. And now, if I want to change the parameters of this patch, I just have to hold this button for a little bit. And now it's ready. So basically now, because I've stood on that edit pedal for a couple seconds there, it's gone you know, sort of into an edit mode for my preset. And now as I move this around, you can see that it says, all right, look, there's my P1, that's my pedal 1, right? And there's my CC controller data. So right now it's set to 7. If I want this one over here, you can barely see to be wah. I'll just take this one up a little bit. And now wah, if you look at your manual, you'll see that wah as the controller, um, which is position. It's going to say wah position in your manual. That's actually number 4. So because it's not set correctly, I'll take that down to number 4. And now we're ready. All I have to do is exit. It's going to say, do you want to save? And you're like, you betcha. So now it's saved it. So if we go to the screen, you can see that we now have volume and wah working. <laughs> You can have it talk to you. Hi there. I am the wah pedal. So, obviously the volume works the same way. It's already working, so if we show that to you by popping over to the volume pedal screen. There it is. And now if I turn it back on, you've got the ability to do some whales. There you go. That's setting up continuous control pedals. Now, let's say that you wanted to do something crazy like using multi. So there's also, obviously the 11 rack can listen to volume or wah or rig volume on that pedal, but it also has the ability to do something called multi. And in this preset, I have the second pedal set up to be multi. So it's actually going to move a number of different parameters at the same time. So the multi, come back over here, pop this over and I'll look at pedal number two. Pedal number two is supposed to be number 11. So if I hold this guy, it'll scroll all the way down to number 11. There we go. Fantastico. Say yes. And now basically, in one fell swoop, the second pedal here is going to control not only the master output volumes for the Plexi, it's going to control the mic preamp volume and also the mix of the reverb. So with it down, I've got this kind of sound. And as I move it up, about that is it means that you don't have to uh, actually get out of a preset to change sounds. You can literally change everything on the fly at once. And if you look at this page here on the 11 rack, you can choose which parameters from which currently loaded effects and amps get used in that multi. 
So you can say, all right, look, you start at this value, you start at this value, and you can even have them reverse if you want, which is what's going on here. So very, very flexible, very powerful.